Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. Right guys, so you saw where we came in and I thought, wow, it's quiet actually and before we completely mess it up, I'll give you the room tour now. So that's the door where you come in, your little decking out there and the fire pit and little seats around there. We have half moved in, so just bear with. So we have, ooh, lots of little lights, a uh, kettle, toaster, Little bickies and tea and coffee. You have a microwave, a fridge. It is tiny though, so bear that in mind. But saying that, we have got um, two a grazing box, a breakfast box, and some curry. You've got a tiny little freezer bit there, a couple of drinks, milk, and then you've got a two winged induction hob. Lovely countertop, sluds of room, ignore all this. I mean, me and Joe have had one beer in three hours. We're never going to get through that. I mean, we might get through two cans <laughs> the whole time we're here. You've got fully stocked cutlery, bottle openers, knives. Then you've got your plates, bowls, mugs and cups. In there. This one cooking utensils, you get your little dishcloths and things, and some washing up liquid. That one you've got first aid kit, pots and pans, dustpan and brush. Then you've got some chairs for outside, again ignore the our kit, we've not unpacked properly, um, but we just wanted to get in. You've got a nice big bin. You've got a heater there, which we've just tried and it kicks out some lovely heat. So these in the winter will still be lovely. You've got another one there. You've got a big double bed, sofa double bed here with a telly. That's outside on the decking, Joe's out there. You've got a lovely big table that extends. And another bed there with storage underneath. They've got storage underneath as well. Mat as you walk in. Curtain. Velux windows that you can open and then pull the blinds down when you're going to bed. And then 
the piece de resistance if you are in a wheelchair and you need an accessible bathroom in a glamping cabin pod look at this there's no stepping in i mean joe could just wheel straight in here transfer um or if you've got a chair wheelchair that you that you can wash in you are in the most amazing accessible shower it's got beautiful iridescent tiled walls your expeller we pay for the towel and the bedding kit so they come with it you've got your toilet scales me put that down uh, rails handrails to hold on to beautiful heat towel rail which is nice and toasty comes with your loo roll you've got an accessible mirror if you're in a wheelchair so that is just jo the first thing she said when she came out was oh my god there's a mirror that's at my height and that never happens so she's mega happy with that you've got your shaving point plugs there mirror for me and that's back out into our toasty cozy cabin not decided which bed joe's gonna have yet obviously when she transfers from her chair the chair stays where it is so with this bit, this bit being slightly narrower than that bit i might pull this bed out and joe can have this bed which means her chair can stay at the side and she can transfer in and the chair stays where it is uh or could even move the table and she can transfer one from that way uh, also if, her, if she transferred from there to there it might block the bathroom um so it's probably going to be ideal for joe to have that bed but yeah absolutely absolutely buzzing with that it comes with uh with it being fly season you get a little get a little um, notice telling you with it being with it being fly season you get a little notice telling you how to deal with that so you've got the fly catchers screens uh, you get a little fly swap um, but it has a screen there so keep your door shut and your screen up and you should be fine we don't want the windows open now anyway because it's um, a bit breezy and chilly now the sun's gone in and a bit windy and then you've got your little uh, facilities book and everything that comes with that loads and loads of charging points with USBs literally everywhere you look there's plug sockets and charging points so we are now going to possibly have a curry and maybe another beer watch a bit of telly we did bring the laptops if we wanted to watch anything on them um that we could download or uh watch on catch up but um yeah it's toasty and cozy so i can't can't wait to to see you know the view over the the lake as the sun really goes down it gets dark the wildlife here is supposed to be unreal. Little ducks have already waddled past the, the cabin. Um, but I'm sure, I mean, the wildlife across that lake will be incredible. It's set to rain a little bit tomorrow, but when doesn't it, when me and Joe come away? <laughs> but um, yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. Oh my god, I knew she was a witch! What are you doing? Yeah, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're hunting, little wascal. <coughs> Don't come in here with us. Come on then. Ah, oh, because we're snow white, aren't we? Oh, little feral ginger, just like David. 
little feral ginge. You're so cute. You might be a witch's cat. I wonder if there's any witches around here. It's now getting on for the middle of the night. <laughs> and my little witchy cat's still <laughs> after me. I think I think it knows I'm a witch. <laughs> it just wants to come in. I can't let you in, sweetheart. No, if you like a feral. I feel I'm looking at the size of him. Oh, look, he's talking. You're a feral farm cat. I don't know, mate. <laughs> We're just trying to get the hornet from hell out. <laughs> but luckily, the Wigwam Lodges have the most amazing fly screens. So, I got it out, guys. We haven't brought that on our holidays. But it's still, it's still trying to get in. Oh. into the sky to fill the morning air with warmth and life so Well, it's a beautiful sunny morning at Wigram Holidays and Rowan, our little lodge. So I thought I'd take you for a little walk. There's three accessible lodges. There's another one next door to us. And I think there's another one Round there. Be quiet.
we met the lovely Emma yesterday who came to make sure we'd settled in fine and everything and as she walked up well I mean recognised her I used to work with her about 20 years ago which was insane so that was a a bit of a crazy catch up that we had <laughs> oh I've got my trainers on I should have worn my boots I want to show you some of the lake There were some cows in this field when we drove in last night. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my feet wet and show you, look. Down into the, look, all the lily pads. It's so pretty. It's like a little island in the lake there. Let me go and see if the moo cows are awake. Oh, they're all over there. Maybe being snow white. I'll call them over. They might, they might come and, they might come to me. Look. It's idyllic. My camera's flashing. So let me see if I can get to the cows before it goes off. They're right over in the corner though. I see you. Battery died, so I'm just on my phone. There's all the girls. Oh, sorry, I can't zoom in on the camera too much. So, Wigwam holidays. It's not just Yorkshire. If you go on to if you go on to wigwamholidays.com, there's sites all over the UK, Scotland, everywhere. And um, they're dog friendly. If you keep them on a lead, you can have a fire pit fire. I'm going to take you down to where you drive in and show you that. So as you walk around to the front of the bit where you drive in, you've got like a notice board, um, log shed, bins. So I'll show you all this. Pig in the Willow Cafe, that's open today. It's You can walk or you can drive. And she said the breakfast's there and the food's lovely. 
And it says, welcome to Rigwang Holidays, Ball Hall Farm. Showed you that yesterday. That's to be expected when you're out in the countryside. Tells you what you can feed them if you want to, but be responsible. There we go. We're Graham Holidays. Then you've got the little log shed. Wow. I love that it's all left out for you. Little fly swats. Honesty box, how cute is that? Absolutely love it. Little fly tapes if needed. Fly spray. Oh, it tells you where the beaches are. So, first, Firestock Beach, gorgeous. Flamborough, gorgeous. Scarborough, Robin Hood's Bay, Filey, Whitby, Flamingo Land, Dolby Forest. They're all places that me and Sue's loved when we were kids. And then you've got all of your leaflets on what to do. Oh, and I'm being, there's a little camera, camera filming me, filming them. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and you've got all the nature walks. Here, look. Alathorpe. Alathorpe Common. Millington Woods. Canal walks. Cute. Love it. I love how it's all left out. That's a log shed. And now, you've got a dog wash. You've got your fire safety there dog wash station our doggies would fall down that <laughs> uh, you've got normal water there washing your boots and things I imagine trolleys to take all your kit if you are I don't know parking up here uh, hand wash communal recycling and general waste so that's all under cover, you know, if the weather's not too great. So peaceful. So that's my little morning walk while Joe's getting ready for the day. Love looking through the woods through there out to the fields. Oh, Nick, the lovely Nick from Kitchen has delivered us our third food box, which is the afternoon tea. She said the scones are fresh out of the oven an hour ago, so not to put them in the freezer, uh, in the fridge, uh, to leave them out, if, you know, if we're not hungry, just to put everything else in the fridge. But look at the beautiful cakes. Oh, they're going to be absolutely yummy. Brownies, sausage rolls, sandwiches. Those scones look, oh my God, it looks magic. Thank you so much, Nick. And thank you for, uh, for coming into the cabin for a little chat with me and Joe. It was so lovely to meet you. Aye, aye. I'm watching you. Hi, 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 hi.
And here we find the elusive Joe in their natural habitat vlogging for YouTube. Oh, she's seen me. She's dangerous. She's dangerous when she's not eaten. This is how Joe in her natural habitat hides from the rain. Yeah, you look like you're protected from the rain loads there. Thanks. My hair won't go frizzy. Your hair won't go wet. No, that's that's the that's the sentiment. Yours will. Oh, all right, clever. It won't. <laughs> but I've unpopped it. I've unpopped it. I've unpopped my hood. Have you? Yeah. Oh look, now I realise my hair all looks right mess. When I take this off my head, but it's messy hair or frizzy hair. Mm. She does make me laugh. Hi, I'm going to go it off. Messy hair. Oh no. That colour on me. It's on me. It was on me. Oh, that looks that didn't look like a hornet. That looks like a bee. Well, it's the colour. No, it wasn't. I got a close up. No, it was brown. No, I'm on it. Well, that is the biggest bee I've ever seen in my life. And I can't believe that I've found some very rare tree sea urchins. You know, apparently in the Neolithic times, these were under the sea and they were sea urchins and they, they swam under there. Look at the little tentacles coming off. And now you just find them growing on trees, but they're very, very rare. I shouldn't disturb them anymore. Let them get back to their natural habitat. Wee, you running? That was good running. Wasn't it? Come see me! Oh, look at the little brother and sisters. Oh, sisters. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute, guys. Yeah. 